What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and we are back with yet another account tune-up. Oh, these account tune-up Tuesdays are just going amazing. I love doing them all in one shot. I love doing them live with all you guys, so in case you do see some donations pop up or me talking to chat, you know what I'm doing. I'm not just talking to myself like I normally do, but we are on Lewis's account here, so you probably have seen Lewis's account before. Uh, I think it's iLogician something like that i think that's his name but um we've actually been on his account once before and since then he is still he just upgraded again to be a warrior once again so thank you so much for all that support but he has made some progress and he wants some more advice on where to keep going and see see where where, where this account can really start pushing so yeah definitely looking good we have the garuda um e3 heart watcher not necessarily the best idea definitely not the best idea uh leaving heart watcher early game at like nine star or ten star is usually the best option but let's go through the heroes see what he's got going on and see if we can give him some advice especially with anniversary quickly approaching so full warrior gear with holy attack attack looks really good there kiss a ghost perfect setup on your garuda i love it i love it only downside is, you know, it looks like you're tapped out on both gold and spirit. So I'll take the S1 stone. It, it's it's an okay thing to have. Y'all, yeah, we got a donation from Law Dog. What's up, guys? Barry Gaming hey, here. Don't, don't make fun of my opening. I like my opening. Good setup here for uh, all the enables. That looks good as well. We do have the E3 Heart Watcher. Ooh, we got a crown, though. Crown is really nice. Very strong for a hero like Heart Watcher. Might be a little wasted on a hero like Heart Watcher, but. You got split gear in an interesting setup, but you got to use what you can use. HP, HP is fine. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of wasted food, honestly. It's definitely, definitely wasted food. But you already got her built to E3. You're probably better off just leaving her where she is. You do have an E2 carry, which I like. I like to see an E2 carry on an account this early. It'll help you in PvP a lot, and it also opens up the opportunity to do Sealand Land in Dark as well. But uh, Augustus Magic Ball is great. HP, HP, not the best. I don't, I mean, I guess for PvE it's decent right now, but ultimately I'd probably want to go with like a Speed Attack Stone. But again, it's still only a, a C3 stone, so you got you got time to upgrade it and do rerolls. Don't, don't worry about rerolling it at this just save up the gold and upgrade it instead full ranger gear so that's good to go as well bell rain a perfect nine star as i've said probably a billion times tonight and you'll hear across this entire week talking about these account tune-ups light hero bell rain is an amazing hero to get to nine star and just hold off leave her there she will do fine to give you a little bit of healing and a little bit of survivability in your PvE and PvP. Because, you know, the best thing about her is when she dies, she does some big old burst healing for four rounds. So, it's it's even at a nine star, she can do decent. It's not going to be a ton of healing, but it's going to be enough. Especially paired with a Garuda that already heals when, uh, when someone dies. It definitely works out pretty well. Um, besides that, though not too much going on we have we have carry copies i'd like to see that and see this is why i feel like oh man if you had if you had the 10 star that you used to feed to uh to heart watcher and the two other nine stars uh, you would have carry at like e4 right now man that would feel so good having the e4 carry would I tell you to ever regress your Heart Watcher and rebuild her? You do have soul symbols. Nah, I mean, at least not right now. Man, it would feel so good if you could actually have a strong carry, though. She would be so good, so good in PvP, but... Yeah, yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. The Heart Watcher, it is what it is for now. I would just keep her as is. What we need to do is get a good game plan going for the future. Because as I noticed right here, there's really not many resources saved up. Granted, you have enough to pretty much get the next pay-to-win artifact you want. 
Don't get the lucky candy bar. Please do not do that. Wait to find a nice offensive one that you really can use in both PvE and PvP. Um, Glorious Relics. So you got three normal hero copies or two light or dark. That's all right. You're really low on promotion stones as too, so make sure you're buying those up every chance you get. Yeah. I mean... One thing with Garuda as well is if you need her to be tankier, luckily you do have a crown, but ultimately you're probably going to want to keep her on a Kiss of Ghost. It just depends on the teams that you're going up against. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty bare bag right now. We don't really have any copies of anything whatsoever. Very low on artifact food. Doesn't look like you're going to quite get up to get the nine star either. Yeah, literally the best thing you can do is just save up scrolls, save them up for Christmas, save them up for uh, for Chinese New Year. It's going to take a while on an account like this where you're pretty, pretty much uh, not, I don't think, I think you said you're not really spending much anymore, um, but I would at this point save up, I would save up Profit Orbs for Black Friday, I would save up Heroic Scrolls for Christmas or Chinese New Year depending on what your totals are at. But um, yeah, your, your account right now needs to go into a heavy, heavy idle mode. I know it feels bad, but you need to play the waiting game on an account like this. Because, it, I mean, you got a six star Ithaqua, which again, I probably would not have done that because you're not gonna wanna, you're not gonna build Ithaqua until you get at least another E5 hero because like I said, building multiple heroes to low levels is not worth it. Um, and you essentially just wasted six heroes right there that could have worked towards you potentially almost had enough already for another nine star hero you can easily work on building a 10 star aiden to feed off to carry so that's good you got emily copies so you could probably make an emily nine or ten star as well build up a queen 10 star you got the elite copies you need to build those 10 stars the problem is you need the food right now you definitely need the food. You can build a Gru. So the elite heroes is not the issue. Um, the issue is food. And to get food, you are going to have to idle. Because you chose Gruda as your first hero, you're going to really, really suffer in all the sea lands. I mean, honestly, even here, this is going to be a really, really rough time to actually have any type of progress here. Because even with, uh, I don't think you can get much further with what you have. Let's take a quick look. We do have a couple Olivia's, so that's good. But they're all just going to die off immediately. They're going to die off immediately. And we're not even going to get to another active. Yeah, we're not going to get to one. It's just, Garuda is not, it's just not a great first E5 hero. It feels great because she does good in PvP and PvE, but Sea Land, she is just, let's be honest, she's abysmal compared to other potential first E5 heroes. Um, is Olivia a good hero to build down the road? Yes. But I wouldn't even consider starting building Olivia until you have this carry to E5. Um, I don't think I would even regress the Heart Watcher and rebuild her yet until you had the heroes. Because you need essentially, I mean, what, did you have the two carry copies? Yeah, you have the copies to E5 carry. But what you need to do first is make sure before you regress the Heart Watcher that you have nine star heroes that you can 10 star with that nine star food. Because what you're going to get from this Heart Watcher is one 10 star and four nine stars those nine stars are going to do absolutely nothing for you right now what you need to do is get the food build up build up a nine star aiden with another six star hero build up a uh probably a nine star queen with another six star sitting there waiting to go with the extra two copies and the same with Gru, because you're going to need three 10 star potential 10 stars so i would not regress her now Keep her as is. You don't want to go backwards on progress. You want to stay as is, stay the course, and then build up that carry. Because once you build that carry up, if you can get a couple more baby Amon Ra's and build like a six-star Aspen, 
you could probably push pretty far in dark sea land you probably could get if you can get like two more 10 or five star amon Ra's, you could probably get to like 15 16 in dark sea land if you have an e5 carry because the carry at e5 10 star even 10 star and over carry her energy drain is much much more reliable so you can avoid those dragon actives save so much that would probably be one of the best things to do if you do have a chance in Celestial Island, I don't know where you're at right now, but if you can potentially go on a, oh, perfect. Oh, well, you're on the nine star quest. That's a little rough. I would say um, probably start working on the six star dark uh, missions so that you can get six star dark puppets because dark is, it's gonna sound weird guys, but dark is probably gonna be your best avenue to get sea land progress since you built a Garuda because Garuda really, it takes a lot to get a Garuda lineup going in sea land. Whereas dark, if you get an E5 carry, a six star Aspen, and then a couple of, uh, couple of Amon Ra's, you'd be sitting in a pretty good spot. So I could buy two six star puppets from the new event. Um, yeah, but it's still not going to be quite enough for what you need. It's not going to, you, you just don't have the food right now without, without burning good elite heroes. I would just, I would still go to idle mode. Just make sure you're getting all your four star fodder. Once the, uh, the monthlies come up, then use all your four star shards, get your heroes going and work on from there. You should really be buying good you're buying all those out every day that's perfect you need to go six out of six on those to get as many four stars as possible and then once you can finally regress heart watcher put all that food into your carry get carry to e5 she will be a major major slot one tank hero for dark sea land um I know it's kind of a waste, but six star Aspen really is very strong. It's, it's all you need to do sea land 20 and dark. So once you get that, that Aspen, since you have the two copies right there, perfect for six star, uh, then work on getting baby almond Ra's, some of them with energy if possible. And you should be able to push at least up to 15, 16 or 17 in dark sea land. So if you follow those things, you should be making some good progress. And once you get dark sea land done, you'll be getting a lot of four star income coming in. And at that point, you're gonna be waiting on food and hero copies. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good basis to go off of Lewis. Definitely hit me up on Discord before you do any big changes though. Let's go over it, let's review it one more time. Make sure you're good to go. And yeah, let's see if we can get you some good progress in dark because I know it sounds weird guys, but on an account like this is building a carry, even though it's the second E5 hero, it does make Dark Sea Land one of the easiest Sea Lands for an account like this to do. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you can make some good progress because I, I did forget to look, but yeah, that, that Phoenix is in a good spot. Definitely keep leveling these two up, stay away from speed, and you should be doing pretty good. So let me know what you guys think about the account as well. I kind of I kind of like how Dark Sea Land can be one of the early game go-tos now, especially since Celestial Island, you can get six star dark puppets. The nine star doesn't matter if it's dark, it's just a shorter quest, but the six star puppets are big game-changing things. So hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully this is sets a, uh, a good path for Lewis. And I'll see you guys next time.